Hello. Hello. <laughs> You're my girl. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm Chibli. Hello. <laughs> hey, I'm Chibli. Hi. <laughs> Yo, it's Chibli. I don't know. I don't even know what Chibli would actually say. I can't keep up with that guy. He's too random. Remember that time um, Chib and I were standing on top of the breakable ceiling in Rainbow Six Siege? And then I yes. smashed it with my hammer and said, go get him. That was that was a fun moment. Twitch I really that. remember that it was hilarious. Yeah, I can't believe we used to play that. It is kind of crazy, right? It's kind of it. crazy. Yeah, I miss it. You miss Rainbow Six Siege? Yeah, I just miss the little tactical mm -hmm. stuff with the boys, you know? I don't, miss, I don't really miss Rainbow Six Siege that much, honestly. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's fun in, in small doses, but I don't know. You can, you can get really sick of it quickly, I find. Yeah, losing uh, does that to you. And True. Me. I'm not saying True. you're the reason we lost. I mean, I think... No, well, I mean, it's pretty probably... Pretty much everybody on the team is equally responsible, I would say. <laughs> there were some pretty fun moments, though. It was, it was, it was pretty funny. Hello. Okay. Sims published the game. He forced me to play it. I feel so betrayed. It's like Netflix cheating. It's not Netflix cheating. I'm like but Netflix, yeah. I don't even want to bring up the time that I've never seen what's considered the best episode of Game of Thrones. Because one night my oh wife my said, God. My wife said, Do you mind if I keep watching after you went to sleep? And then she she did. And then freaking Oberon. Greyjoy got his head cracked like a damn chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I wake up eight hours later. Hey, where's where's that cool guy? Where's that Oberon yeah, guy? Everybody loves Oberon. <laughs> oh, there's a sink for you guys. You need that? Oh, you know what? I hold on. I might be able to invite Kate into this mid mid game. Yo, we we could use a ringer for the last. I am uh, absolutely down. <laughs> we we we're, we're now a two star pizza restaurant. Holy cow! Just saying. Hello. There's only one. One of us. It's one one combined pizza chef. Uh, I've been killing it on the Zaw. Yeah, uh, Kate, you gotta fit in. I would like I, Mouth I has been help. actually crushing it in the kitchen. I mean, she can help though. Like I with, can be uh, the dishwasher. Yeah, that would uh, if you don't mind. It would actually be helpful. That yeah. would be super super helpful. And uh, yeah. once you get the flow, Kate, you can always help with like uh, grating or or cutting cheese as well. The soaker sink mm -hmm. here okay. washes on its own, but it takes longer. Yeah. But the other sink down there. Um... Let let me let me walk you through the dish process, okay? So they eat insanely <laughs> like fast. This. Okay, we're just coming in and spending money right away. Oh. Um, they so Kate, they come in, they eat insanely fast because this is like McDonald's, okay? And then when they eat, we put their dirty dishes either in the auto sink that automatically watches it, or washes it, or we put them on this dirty dish rack to be moved to the auto sink by front of house later. There's a door oh, here. Look. Oh, we got just... a mop now too. Kate, 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 what are you? What's yeah. going on here? I'm gonna put the. You're, you're not right listening here. to the to the orientation. You, I am. You you cut one of our serving windows already. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I did not. <laughs> she did. Though. I ain't touched nothing. <laughs> oh Is no, we need we knew we need we don't we need two counters here, right? We need. Uh, we need I gotta put the pizza and then you need to spot the plate. It. Kate, Kate, Kate. You just. Slow your, actually, your. I think the conveyor into the soaker can, sink is actually conveyor, but just good put idea. it on this side. You do have to walk through the doors, but otherwise you could just put it straight into the sink if there's not like a backlog or whatever. Like this? Know. What the hell? I yeah, have but, to get but, in and out of the kitchen no, no, at all no, times. No, no, you don't know how like... the restaurant works yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's chaos. <laughs> We, we, we become a two-star pizza restaurant. Everything and, has been uh, going. We've been dead now. We've been talking about how good it's been going. Okay, <laughs> this okay. this I... conveyor doesn't make any damn sense. <laughs> Just for the record, <laughs> because now we got to grab the dirty dishes from up here and then drop them one tile closer to the sink. Okay, so just er no, 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 don't stop moving stuff. Just everyone, just chill, okay? Me, myself included. We're just gonna wait. We're just, I'm just gonna take a look at this for a second. All right, now I got a special treat. We're gonna play some Fall Guys with Apollo. Can you believe it? Let me let me find out what call this guy's in. I'm jumping back, dude. This 
This is a rarity for me, man. Two different Discord voice calls in the same day. That's uh, wacky, man. I know Among that you do this all the time. Oh, we got Among Us. Then we got Project Winter. Then we got um, Uno. Then we got, uh, I don't even know what you play. Switch Sports or the Clubhouse Games. And then we got a little of this. And we got a little of that. We got a little Town of Salem. We got a little uh, Secret Hitler. We got a little... Uh. Uh, you, you understand that it's a ton of Salem and uh, Project Winter. And uh, some Among Us is all in one Discord. And there's another Among Us Discord that we use there that we also use for the morning lobby stuff. And then there's another Discord. Uh, you know, don't worry about it. I'm in that, it's all, I'm it's, in that it's all, one. It's all tiered. Yeah, I'm you're in one. No, you're in two. There's the dad craft, and then there's this one. Sometimes I look at what's going on in that uh, Among Us Discord. Oh, that one. Yeah, and yeah, And I yeah. go, hey, they're still typing. They're still sharing images of the James Webb Telescope. Oh, uh, yeah. Sometimes that's really the only thing that Discord is used for now is uh, sending images while on the call. You were being sucked into the void for a second there. It was weird. I was opening... Um, my wife got me some turtle chips from the... Korean grocery store. Mm. So I don't know if you've ever had them. They're a sweet-ish corn chip. They're sweet and salty. Kind of um, reminds me of the like garden salsa sun chips, but continue. Dude, I, I thought of a tweet yesterday. Mm -hmm. If anything in the ocean tasted as good as harvest cheddar sun <laughs> chips, that fish never would have grown legs. <laughs> that was the tweet. I, I just couldn't figure out how to word it right. It's a good format. Uh, they are good. Did you know that Army Hammer now works as a concierge at the um, the Marriott Hotel in the Cayman Islands? I don't know half of the pro or the proper nouns you just said. <laughs> Army Hammer was uh, an actor who was in the Social Network and a lot okay, of other I movies. You meant the brand. Like that comes up a lot. That comes up a lot. Yeah. Um, he got canceled for a couple of things. One of which was um, leaked texts where he said he wanted to like eat people. <laughs> oh, like like literally, not like. I mean, it was in a sexual context, but it was also like I want to <laughs> consume like your flesh and blood. <laughs> oh, he's just having a good time. <laughs> but then there was something of I don't remember. It was like it was weird, and also there was like some abuse allegations. Ah, uh, okay, that's not fun anymore. But now he's he's working as a concierge at the Marriott Cayman Islands. Hey, you know, I mean, well, I'm not gonna say more power to him, especially after all that. But yeah, gotta, in fact, no, I'm just gonna leave that there. I think. You gotta do something. Uh, nah, I can just not acknowledge it. I think. I think he should well, be allowed to start his life over. You know, I mean, yeah. I don't know about the allegations. But there's no way he actually eats people. Probably not. I mean, how much money? The richer he was, the more likely he did actually eat people. I just feel like, you know, eventually you have he was money in... to have access to that kind of thing. Look, he was in some relatively big movies, but usually not as the star. I, and then he did some indie stuff. I don't think he ate people. I don't think he consumed human flesh. Do I think he consumed human blood? Yes. I do believe that he... Because one of his ex-girlfriends, uh, who he was dating while he had a wife, said... Um, and kids... Um, said uh, it was super weird. If I had like a cut on my hand, he would grab it and suck all the blood out. <laughs> so they're like role playing a vampire. Like I don't what? know, man. <laughs> this guy seems. I don't know, man. I wouldn't want to stay at that hotel. Is all I'm saying. I just think it'd be wild to show up at the hotel and then like your your concierge is the guy who played both Winklevoss twins in The Social Network. Oh. I see what you mean by not the star, but in the big movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he was in um, the Lone Ranger, but he's not Johnny Depp. Although yeah, I gotta feel yeah. like if they were making that movie today, they'd probably go with a completely different main cast. Yeah, yeah, just to uh, start that one anew. <laughs> too much, too much history there. <laughs> trying to think of Ooh. what else he's. He, he was in the Man <laughs> from Uncle, but he's not Henry Cavill. He's not the uncle? He's not the uncle. He's one of the... Dang. I don't know if he's the man or if he is the double <laughs> agent. And then um, he was in Sorry to Bother You. Never As, heard of that one. Dude, you should... Actually, you might like Sorry to Bother You. I don't know. It is a movie. It is a movie, but there's some interesting stuff that goes on in that movie. Does Especially... The, the year it came out have more than one nine in it. No. It has... At most... I think it has no nines. I think it has a one, a zero, a two, and a five. And I'll let you on scramble. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it came out in... It came out in, in three decades? <laughs> yes. It came out in 2051. 
there were there were like three possible jokes there. Mm. I just took the first one that came to mind. Twelve oh five is pretty good too. That's... Yeah. You see the gray man? No. Piece of shit. Horrible I've, movie. I've, yeah, I've heard. Absolutely soulless. No no charm whatsoever. Boring. Horrible CGI. Waste of everybody's time. Over long is like two hours and fifteen minutes long. It makes no sense. Hmm. I don't, I, dude. I think I'm just like done with action movies in general. No, if like a movie dude. is only action, I feel like I can't enjoy it anymore. But I, I think it's Marvel's fault because Marvel makes like action movies, but they're like they were just more fun action movies. Like for me personally, I would say, uh, yeah, I would agree. I don't think many people are going to join us on that, unfortunately. Yeah, no. But I mean, I, I've been kind of out on the recent ones. I have <laughs> still haven't seen Doctor Strange: uh, The Multiverse of Madness. I don't think you'll like that one that much. Really? Because I thought, I thought Thor was the bad one. Everyone was saying that one was not good. I love Doctor Strange too, but I think I'm in the minority case because I love Sam Raimi. Oh, well, I got to give it a watch now just to see. But dude, I'm, I'm obsessed with Tenet. I went to the Tenet subreddit. That's it's I, a I, good I, movie. <laughs> I, that movie, they put out a hit on Tenet. That, that movie is actually good. Top post on the Tenet subreddit when you have to take a shit, but you're inverted, and then it's that, like, um, the the monkey puppet looking at the screen, like, oh no. <laughs> wow, what a shot. I was laughing up a storm. I was thinking about it, like, days later, when you gotta take a shit, but you're inverted. Yeah. It's, uh, look, I, I said this to you in a different channel, but that movie is good up until the entire, like, final action scene, which makes literally no sense. Yeah, no, I, I maintain the end makes no sense at all. But I also maintain that I think it's cool that Chris Nolan is so confident that he's like, this shit makes no sense. Whatever, send it. That shit's coming to theaters and theaters only. Oh, how, how could my team do this to me? So anyway, you don't like The Sandman. No. How many episodes did you watch? One and a half. Yikes. I got to the part where a $45 CGI dragon... <laughs> was uh, on the screen and then that arc resolved and I said this fucking sucks <laughs> and I said like it was already a little quippy for sure and the dude is dressed and, and acts like Ian Somerhalder from season one of Lost and then the dudes are named Cain and Abel and he, the yeah. Cain kills Abel and I was like fuck but to see it's a running bit later on abel comes back and then can kills him again and then you find out like that he just kills them like all the time yeah no i thing. i get it but i'm like look that's fine you're not gonna make it to the diner episode which is like one of the best episodes is you know what can you do i vouch for the diner episode one in chat if you watch the diner episode and you're like hell yeah that episode was sick I love that I've reached the age. People said the CGI is actually good. You're just old. You can't just use <laughs> old as like a, as a catch-all for when you don't agree with me. The CGI is not good, by the way. It, the If you're like looking at the dragon, yeah, the dragon was not. All right, I'm dead. It's okay. I got this. I don't got this. The oh! fan was perfect. It was perfectly oh. aligned. Fair enough, fair enough. Also, it, it, I will say, I, I learned to... I, after I tweeted that I didn't really like the Sandman, um, I got tweeted by many people that actually the show looks cheap on purpose. They spent a lot of money to build sets that look like they're CGI, and that is the dumbest shit I've ever heard. That is pretty dumb. Which I actually respect. Like, that sounds incredible. That they were like, hey, we, we could make this show look cheap with our cgi or we could just make it look cheap for a lot of money uh oh you fell off my queue <laughs> uh i got like a bunch of like network warnings mm, and now i'm okay. stuck and duo sh i mean i'm in a queue i cannot leave it i mean i don't hate this sam man i watched one and a half episodes there's been a lot of netflix shows where i watched like 10 seconds and went like this shit fucking sucks what's your example of uh Good CGI. Here we go. This is my favorite form of movie criticism. You don't like uh -huh. a movie I like, so I took it personally. So name a thing you like and all <laughs> insulted, so your your feelings are hurt like my feelings just got hurt. Oh, you don't like the butterfly effect? What's your favorite movie? Citizen Kane? Oh, uh, you're old. Is that the Rosebud one? It is. That's the only thing I know about that movie. Not to be confused with the turtle head one, which is Rat Race. Right. Well, the rosebud is the sled, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah.
If you ever, I probably asked you this 20 times. You ever walked out of a, a movie before? Never walked out of a movie. I've wanted to, but I was a young person with family, right. so I couldn't. Um, and sense. it was Dinner for Schmucks. Right? Just, I actually, I, I watched that uh, on Netflix about a year ago. Uh, just a horrible movie. Horrendous. Yeah. Uh, like, legitimately not funny. Like, not even, like, I feel like even if you like cringe, you still wouldn't enjoy that movie for its cringe. <laughs> I think it's not good. Not a good movie, in my opinion. Not That's worth like, I, watching I at all, and, even if you started. I feel like you should, like, or people should realize that, like, I can enjoy even the, the worst of movies, but that movie was still too bad for me. <laughs> I walked out of, um, and people are going to say very fair. I walked out of Transformers 2. Yeah. It's horrendous. See, um, I like that movie, but I was a dumb kid, so... You were at the age where I think it's acceptable. I was like 20 or maybe maybe 21. Wait, and I was what? Transformers oh, okay. 2. It, it came out in like 08, I think. I'm trying to do the math. I'd be 15. Okay, I'm allowed. That sounds about right. You're not five years older than me, are you? They were three years older than me. I don't know. So you would have been 18, right? I was old enough to be hammered legally in the <laughs> theater for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> There's Transformers in, in Canada? 19 in, in the province mm. I grew up in. I walked out. I think I walked out of another movie, too. I can't remember what it was. I can't remember if I walked out of Terminator Salvation. I feel like I maybe walked out of Terminator Salvation to just go see The Hangover. Again. Like, I got halfway through Terminator Salvation. It was like, this shit fucking blows. And then I walked out, and a theater had just started playing The Hangover. And I was like, well, I paid for a ticket, so I'm going to see the damn Hangover again. And I laughed and I laughed. How many movies have you seen twice in theaters or more? Not many. Spider-Man 1, Spider-Man 2. Oh, no. The Hangover. Uh, <laughs> um, that's about it, I think. My list not very, it's not very impressive. It's the final Harry Potter movie and uh, Cloverfield. Cloverfield twice, huh? Yeah, I liked that movie a lot when it came out. I still like it, but I liked it a lot. I saw it like five years ago and was like, "This is pretty fun," but I, I don't like uh, I don't like those movies because they make me nauseous. That's fair. Which is I, I I it's not a hater comment. I, I'll never watch like Hardcore Henry or whatever it's called. I'll, I'll never even Paranormal Activity like that. It, it, then that's not even like all first person. Like some of that's on CCTV. It makes me want to throw up. There's a guy who comes into my job who's seen Top Gun Maverick a few times per week since it came out. Does, do you work at the movie theater? Is that why you see him so much? That movie can't be as good as people are saying it is. I refuse. I mean, I should watch it and decide for myself, but... Man, people act like that movie is the best thing in the last 20 years. It has uniformly positive reaction from everybody who's seen it. The only people who don't like it are Twitch people chat, because they it. think it's... And it's probably true to some extent that it's like U.S. military propaganda, but... <laughs> but... Dude, you see that shit in D-Box? Oh, man. I, I don't care if it's propaganda that. either, as long as it's good. I, I remember that summer. Summer between 12th grade and university, I think. Um, I had my driver's license. Stoked to have some independence. And look at this summer slate of movies. How, what could go wrong? First off, X2, X-Men United was so good. X3, where they're going to bring the story to its conclusion and also launch Jean Grey as Phoenix. It's a, it's a guaranteed hit, man. Nothing mm -hmm. could go wrong. Yep. Okay, it went wrong. Then, hey, uh, Will Ferrell's Anchorman follow-up, Talladega Nights, what could go wrong? Okay, it went a little wrong. It's not that bad. Uh, Jack Black, fresh off a of school of rock. Guess what? He's making a little movie called Nacho Libre. It's boring as hell. Absolutely just a, a waste of time to see in theaters. And um, then, like eight months later, Zach Braff's follow-up to Garden State, The Last Kiss, starring him and the OC's Rachel Bilson. Completely uh, unwatchable. The only th noteworthy thing in the theater is that somebody brought in McDonald's fries and just kept, like, he was eating by himself and he just kept shouting at the screen by himself. Like, just something would happen and he would go like, ah! And then <laughs> everybody was just looking around wondering what the hell was going on. That reminds me of the fucking, uh, when I went to see How to Train Your Dragon 3 and, uh, someone, a mom with her kid just, uh, decided her kid was going to be allowed to, uh, do whatever he wanted. 
I don't which like was that. play. He just played with his toys while the movie was going on. He was kicking chairs, and mom wasn't saying a goddamn word. Well, she was watching the thrilling conclusion of um, right. Batwing's story, or whatever. What's he called? Batwing. Uh, Snaggletooth. I saw it in theaters, dude. I saw. I saw How to Train Your Dragon three in theaters. <laughs> it's, uh, toothless is what you're toothless. looking for. Toothless. How do you know like every actor that's played in any movie ever from the eighties onward, but you don't know the name of the dragon and How to Train Your Dragon? I don't. I saw it a long time ago. <laughs> it wasn't that long ago. I remember I saw it at a Regal Cinema in, in the United States, and I spent like $19 on a... It was like the first time I ever went to one of those theaters where you can get food. I spent 19 American dollars on a pizza, and the dude shoved it in the microwave, like right in front of my face. And then, like when I was eating it, I was like, this shit does not taste good at all. And, uh... Damn. But the chairs were very comfy, for sure. I got to see it early. They just were like, hey... This movie's showing like a month early in your city. Do you want to go see it? Dude, can like, I tell you something that'll blow your mind? Me dude, too. Hell <laughs> what the hell? I saw How to Train Your Dragon 3 early. I've never even seen the second one. Bizarrely though, I saw the first one in theaters. The second one's really good. All, the, all three are good. I saw the, se the first one in theaters because we, I was friends with people who were adults who liked to watch kids' movies. So I said, sure, I'll accompany you to the theater. That's just a nice day. And then after I watched it, I was like, that's pretty good, but I'm not that interested in the franchise. Skip the second one. Little did I know I would be at the pre-release for the first one, or for the <laughs> third, third one. one. I don't like kids' movies with where a kid has a really strong connection to an animal because it always, it's too emotional. I did, I did cry. Yeah. I didn't like, like I didn't ugly cry, but there, there were like, you know, I know how it sounds, but like, I'm, I, it's just like as soon as you see, like, oh, this kid's got a really close connection to his dragon, you're like, okay, they're gonna make him think that the dragon's fucking dead, or he's gonna get uh, hit with an ice spear that's gonna convert him unwittingly to be part of the enemy side or something <laughs> like that, and... Wait, this is very specific. <laughs> Dude, I am kind of on board with the prequels, man. I'll say it. I'm, I'm, I'm hyping it up. I'm ready. The more Netflix I watch, the more I actually tend to agree with you that probably the new Game of Thrones will be good. Because HBO doesn't make a whole lot of, like, dog shit, unlike some uh, streaming services and studios that spend $250 making The Grey Man. <laughs> yeah, what about Batwoman, though? See, I'm not that worried about the Batwoman cancellation, just because I feel like they probably saved us from a shitty movie. <laughs> it probably wasn't gonna be good, yeah. Like I, I'm not saying I'd rather it didn't exist, but I'm not, I'm not that up in arms over it. Oh yeah, Batgirl. The old guy, because like I don't really like Discovery bought HBO, but like, but it's like, but it's Warner Brothers or something. Like, what is the, what's going on? Well, here's the problem is that Discovery makes money hand over fist because the people on 90 Day Fiance get paid like $75 a day and 150 million people watch every episode. I see, I see where this is going, yeah. So it's the same as Netflix where they're like, oh, we don't want to like invest a ton of money into making high quality content when instead we could just make people who suck ass at baking episode 9,000. It's like, it's free money. Like, it's when you're looking at it from like a, a profit loss standpoint, it's like, why would you ever make art when instead you could just make content? It is, man, this is kind of depressing now, honestly. Yeah, I know, it's our business. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey, I'll be doing a just chatting stream tomorrow. Mm. Um, no, that's not true. Dude, uh, no. 90 Day Fiance is, is kind of like a just chatting TV show. <laughs> Although, I don't know if you know this, they have another show called Pillow Talk that is people who used to be on 90 Day Fiance watching 90 Day Fiance and reacting to what happens in the episode. Jesus Christ. They actually have a React Andy TV show. I mean, it's smart, man. Go on Twitch browse right now and see what the top streams are. It's just people at their computer watching TikTok, man. I mean, it's great content. I would, <laughs> if, I, if I was looking at Twitch and it was like, you know, if you were like doing just chatting, I mouse over, it says TikTok, you laugh, you lose. I'm like, I'm, I'm not even looking at the rest of the sidebar. I did somehow find myself watching XQC Gamble last night for some reason. Oh, it's because he was uh, the thumbnail. It was crazy time. It was because it was crazy. Time. Oh! I gotta, I gotta watch crazy time. Man. <laughs> did he? Did you see him get any crazy times? So no, my favorite part was his explanations as to how the crazy time uh, wheel was rigged, and I thought they were very, <laughs> very <laughs> silly. <laughs> 
<laughs> because in my head, I'm like, dude, it's it's a wheel. It could just like turn. Like it could just be on like a rotor or something. Yeah, like, yeah. But he was like, no, nah, there's magnets. Magnets. It's always and magnets. And magnets. And then he said there was like uh, oil dispensers that dispense <laughs> oil to make it go faster. Oh man. I was like, dude, it probably just spins, man. Like, come on. At least it's not <laughs> slots. Like, it's just so boring. So yeah, no, Crazy Time, as awful as the game is, and just totally not worth ever playing, it's fun to watch for some reason. Dude, some of the most fun I've ever had on Twitch was, I didn't know how good I had it. I tuned into Chib's gambling stream like two years ago. He had two Crazy Times in like <laughs> 15 minutes, and then none for four hours. Bro, I had to it, wait like another like two weeks to see his other to see a crazy time, man. <laughs> it, it the door opens up and it, you're like, what's in there? It's a whole green screened room with a crazy roller coaster, and you're like, oh my god, you could win like 400 x whatever your bet was. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's yes, <laughs> it's a shame. I have a like a moral. Uh, yeah. I don't want to say a moral compass, but a moral objection to the promotion of gambling and also participating in it myself. Gambling is fun. It's the truth, but it's also dangerous. That's also the truth. Are you saying do get it twisted? Oh no. <laughs> I totally understand why it has taken over. I'm so stupid. Why it's taken over sports? Because like you know, oh, hold on. I'm gonna. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Because <laughs> you're on like game. 104 of the major league baseball season like it's uh your 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 team is 17 games back of either the yankees or the red sox and you're like you know i can't watch any more fucking baseball and then Astros. you're just like all of a sudden you're like okay how about 20 bucks that Bo bichette hits two doubles this game if it wins it pays out a thousand and guess what he hit a double in the second inning. You're like, oh shit, baseball owns. Mm -hmm. This is the greatest sport of all time. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't feel the same drive from sports gambling, but I think it's because just when I watch football, I just enjoy it inherently anyway. So I don't I don't need to up the ante. I understand. I could, baseball, uh, though. There's only 16 games in the NFL, too. Like, every game actually matters. But people also, I, I feel like because it's on the apps, it's so easy. People make psycho bets. I remember, like, uh, we, we went to see um, the Canucks play the Leafs in Vancouver. And there were Leafs fans behind us, and we were checking in. And they're like, check it out, bro. I just put 50 bucks on Austin Matthews to score four goals. If he scores four goals this game, it I don't know, it paid out, like, like $11,000 or something ridiculous. And you're like, well, this because it's not going to happen. Like, not to... I'm not saying it's impossible. He did it his first game in the NHL. But that game ended 2-1. Nobody scored four goals combined. Yeah, that isn't that. That's how they get you, though. You, you threw you fifty the, bucks the down the garbage winning. can. It's like uh, it's like betting on Twitch. You know, you see the uh, oh dude, a hundred X payout. What the heck? Dude, and I it's like will Dan beat Milena <laughs> on his, his third attempt. You're like, oh, I would love okay. if they if they added parlays on Twitch. That'd be like Apollo and Ryan both finish in the top 10 and neither of them touch the bottom layer of the entire level. But also some of the shit is like you have to not to be very rude, but you have to know you're like a gambling addict, right? When you start betting on like how many shots uh, in basketball like a, a bench player is going to have. If you're betting on like goals or, you know, three pointers or something like that, whatever. When people are like, oh, my, this stay-at-home defenseman is going to have four shots this game or something like that. I'm like, you're a degenerate. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, you couldn't possibly know, like, oh, he's, I just, he's got the hot stick tonight. Well, people get crazy with uh, fantasy on, on football. That's a big oh, gambling yeah. thing now. And people, dude, people follow that shit religiously. I'm like... How do you even keep track of these? Like, okay, I got my my second wide receiver on the bench, but this week I don't know. Like, uh, the Bucks are playing the Browns, so like I feel like the the cornerbacks of the Browns are very good, so I'm probably gonna play the wide right receiver. So, like, That's true though. That's Champ Bailey. I just want to watch uh, Tom Brady lose. Like, come on. <laughs> I guess yeah, that's true. And I mean, when I uncut gems, though, the moral of the story is that Adam Sandler is like a really good dude um, throughout the movie. <laughs> But then I, he he places like a seven-way parlay that is like 
Kevin Garnett's going to win the tip-off. And you're like, come on, man. How are you? How, you can't. The tip-off is the ref could just be having a bad day and send it a little bit closer to the Timberwolves' side. You can't bet on that kind of stuff. I don't know. Can't, people bet on whatever the hell they want. You'll bet people in, bet on like, politics, right? Well, yeah, but that's a gimme. <laughs> Fair. You just take whatever Nate Silver spits out of his 538 model and then you compare it with like, you know, the betting market, the predictions markets, and you find one with some arbitrage and then you, uh, you, you do the exact same thing in the opposite direction to find the opportunity to hedge a little bit. I mean, that's, that's just a, a money-making opportunity. What's stopping someone from putting like all like like a hundred million dollars on like a super red state having a red candidate win like you're gonna make some money doing that right well in in doing that the way that it would work is you um you move the book by making that bet oh. so just by you making that bet well i guess you would get the same payout but also, yeah, the casino would probably be like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but then you can get them. Like, oh, why not? It's like there was this um, Netflix documentary. It's called like Bad Sport or something. It's about scandals in sports. One of the episodes is about a college basketball point shaving scandal. So people would like, you know, they're, they're, the way betting works, I'm sure you're familiar, but for people in chat, oftentimes you bet the spread. So you don't bet straight up who's going to win. It's like, oh, one team's great, one team's ass. Uh, in order for this to pay out evenly, then, you know, they have to score 12 more points than the shit team. So there was a scandal with point shaving where people would go to the players on the good team and be like, hey, don't beat this team too badly. Uh, you still win the game, so your competitive instincts are still uh, assured. But we also make a whole lot of money in the in the process. So they, you know, the first one, they were like, oh, it worked. Let's never do it again. And then they did it like 10 times. And on the last one, they bet so much money, they had to break it up into like little batches and do it at multiple casinos in order to get the casinos to accept it and to not move the betting lines. Which probably... I would like to think that if I was involved with the plan, I would be like, maybe we should pare this one down a little bit, because that shit seems like too much, too dangerous. Look, Watch as someone it. who watches uh, the NFL uh, this year, I wouldn't know anything about scandals of any kind or any nature. Yeah, um, the dude with the with the masseuses. <laughs> yeah, oh, but no, what? You don't think or it's the... possible that like thirty masseuses just got together and said. <laughs> can't say that shit when i'm taking a drink of water man that's not fair you know it's possible that 80 or 90 masseuses just started a group chat and said hey, hey 30, 30 sorry sorry smaller number reasonable number it wasn't and this is not a, a bit didn't his new contract have a stipulation yes. that he can't get a <laughs> massage from a team masseuse no, only. He could only... Oh, he could only get game. it from the team masseuse. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which, man, I don't know if I want to be a Cleveland Browns masseuse this year. Oh, dude, that's so funny. Oh, dude, and I'm going to get this. Watch this, watch this. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving it to you. You ever see the British politician who took a photo of his kitchen and there was a bunch of white powder on his table? And then when people like were like, what's that? He said, oh, he, he issued like a prepared statement that was like, when I get anxious, I shake all the dandruff off my head and then oh, pile yeah. it up on the kitchen table. <laughs> and then, Bro, <laughs> why couldn't he just say it was like flour or something? You're in the kitchen. He should have just said it was cocaine. Like, <laughs> it's, it's so much more electable than the dandruff thing, man. Yeah, also like, no one has that much dandruff, man. What? That, that must be like months. But isn't like, wouldn't the obvious thing be flour? Like, you could yeah, get, I feel like yeah. you get away with it, right? Oh, but then people would think he bakes, which is not something you want oh, in a, in a British yeah. politician. Yeah, no, they have all, whole shows about that. Mm -hmm. No, no one on the British Bake Off can ever hold office. Oh, it's true. They know too much about pastry. Mm -hmm. They're like, hey, we need you to make a, a nine, a three by three Napoleon, and I'm like, what the hell does that mean? It sounds like a board game. And then they're like, I got it. Turns out that was a hoax. All right, well, never mind. All that shit I said about that guy, I take it back. Wait, really? I, well, I don't know. Maybe it's a hoax hoax. I take with it all the back regardless. McDonald's coffee lady. Right, yeah, okay. I'm familiar with that one. The double reverse. Everyone thought it was old lady sues McDonald's, but actually as McDonald's critically wounds old lady. I still think she, um, I'm trying to not say had it coming. 
The coffee was like 190 <laughs> degrees or something insane like that. It was like that's why I drink iced coffee. I think it was like legally lava at that point. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think she should have ordered it rare in that case. Ah, oh, I see. Like, don't get a don't get the coffee vindaloo if you can't handle the coffee vindaloo. You gotta get some butter coffee. Look at that. Clean. Watch this. I gotta ruin this guy's life. Your turn. It's your turn. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> Fuck you, you fucking dickhead. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was gonna say it's a child, but it's probably not. It's probably an accountant or something. <laughs> I love this game. Uh, oh, man. You know how many times this happened to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta start doing the murder Ooh. people on rollout, man. That's where the true evil nature comes in. I think you can be Quinn Hughes and I'll be Tyler Myers, okay? Uh, is that a hockey? Yeah, kinda, but Tyler Myers kinda. Well, actually, maybe it fits because Quinn Hughes is goaded and Tyler Myers sucks ass. Ooh. But also, ah. Tyler Myers is tall, so you kinda gotta be a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. I can do that. I can be tall. Basketball would be the sport I would be next most likely to watch, for sure. Really? It's kind of like bouncy hockey. Five people aside. High scoring. I got nothing against basketball. I'm a lifelong Nets fan. Okay, I'm dead. Um, also, everybody laughed at me for saying Kevin Durant was going to stay with the Nets. Yeah, who's laughing now? He's still on the Nets, baby. It's almost like I had some insider information. Love the Nets. Love the I love Bro yeah, Dude, you know me. Lifelong Brooklyn fan. He asked out again today. No, it's a smoke screen. <laughs> He's just driving up his trade value. For no reason. He wants a new coach? He's betraying Steve Nash? I'm still on his side. Honestly, he's probably got his reasons. You really and you know you don't realize how bad the alphabet sucks until you try to teach it to a little kid. Yeah. There's a lot of like, okay. For example, NM. There's an infinite number of phonemes you could use to make another letter that doesn't sound so similar. Here's another one for you. W doesn't make any damn sense. Because it's like a double V. It is a double V. Well, and I like the naming. Back then. Uh, maybe in like a calligraphy. Yeah, but why isn't it called double N? It's a good point. Why isn't it called double N? What the hell, man? Also, what's up with Q? Why does it always need a partner? Like who, okay. who like why can't Q just make the qu sound on its own? Can I run something else by you? Why don't they just put the fucking vowels at the start of the alphabet and the consonants at the end? Why you gotta mix them <laughs> up in a like intersperse them throughout? That is true. What uh, who decided the alphabetical order? You could put it in any order you choose. We should just start teaching the alphabet in QWERTY instead. I just don't Three understand w. why Dude, that would actually be helpful for kids, maybe. Except starting with Q, one of the, you know. Again, like, at least useful letters. <laughs> that whole top row can go. E, it's not that important. <laughs> we'll find it. We oh, people love e, e, though. It's, it's a big e. one. It's true. You also realize, like, I could read any book that's called, like, A is for Apple without looking at the pages at this point in my life. Like, I, I know what's going to be A is going to be Apple. I know what's going to be B is going to be ball or balloon. I know what's going to be C is going to be car or cat. D for dog, like it's just, I've, I've got like 10 of these books, they're all exactly the same. Except, the Dr. Seuss ones are psychotic. Oh, what do they do? Big F, little F, 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 F. Four <laughs> feathered falcons on a fiffer, feffer, feff. And you're like, okay, that one I, I gotta helpful. actually read. I gotta, I gotta pay attention to the, the consonants in that one too. I maintain that Minecraft itself is kind of a shit game. Mm, I would disagree with that. I'd take the under on that one. I don't know, man. I think it's the same deal with Skyrim, where it's like, well, what is if everyone's trying to mod it all the time? What's wrong with the base game? Uh, no, Skyrim is just not good. But we're the only two people that are confident enough to tell the truth. Nah, there's plenty of people who know that Skyrim's just not very good. There's been an anti-Bethesda arc for a while. Skyrim like is worse than Fallout 4, for sure. It's probably not as bad as Fallout 76, but it's definitely worse than Fallout 4. I would say that. I would I would agree with that. But I don't think Fallout 4 is that good either. No, it's not very good. But it's better know, than Skyrim. <laughs> 
They're, Unless they're... you need a game you can play on your smart fridge, in which case I would say Skyrim's probably like right up there. I had a video recommended to me this morning that was Skyrim on a pregnancy test. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's just very funny. Just uh, a humorous man. idea for sure. Yeah. Um, By the way, if you're playing Skyrim on your pregnancy test, she's not pregnant. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> or it's not yours. Uh, <laughs> you it's not your pregnancy test. You, I heard the laugh followed by the, should I laugh at this? Yeah. The, the internal laugh. Yeah, yeah, no. I had to think about that one for a second. Uh, oh. I don't know, they're getting me back with Starfield, though. It looks kind of cool. I mean, they're making a bunch of promises they definitely can't keep, but it does look cool. I'm just done with games, honestly. True. They keep coming out and you're like, eh, new game, and then you're like, oh, it's a reconstitution of things from old games. And I guess you just reach an age at some point where you're like, that's what everything is. All foods, like, there's no new ideas. All foods are just like, we took an element of food A and food B, and now we got, it's a tempura chicken wing. And you're like, oh, well, this is good, but it's fucking so what, dude? I don't know. That's why we need the damn aliens to show up, so that we can oh, get yeah. some new, like a new element on the periodic table or something. Go ahead, kill me. Honestly, <laughs> I'll do left. it myself. <laughs> uh, look, I wouldn't have done it if there wasn't five seconds left, all right? I understand. What? I probably still would have done it. <laughs> I can't help myself. We need a new element, okay? And it does. I don't want it to be like fucking califinium or whatever where you have to make it in a lab and it only exists for three milliseconds you gotta like watch it on one of the slow-mo guys cameras to actually get it we need like a like something that slots in right between like hydrogen and helium on the on the think, periodic table i don't think that's how atomic science works just something plentiful like aliens are like oh you haven't found coolium too yeah you haven't <laughs> found coolium <laughs> <laughs> It has three. Uh, oh, it has three over two protons in its nucleus. Yeah, you didn't know you could have fractional electrons. Mm. Come on, and That's that like basic dude, stuff. It would revolutionize cooking for sure, oh, and yeah, and gaming. Well, I mean, uh, No Man's Sky already invented a new periodic table. It's, so. it's true. That, that part is definitely true. You can't make that joke because you like the game a lot. It is a good game now, yeah. More like, no Man's Sky? More like uh, this man sleep when he sees people playing it. <laughs> it's a chill game, man. Look, found sometimes a, you gotta play a chill game. I found a new alien species. It looks almost identical to the last one. <laughs> except yeah, it gives you credits when you yeah, scan yeah, it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I got, I'm gonna. I'm taking back the McDonald's one. That one was a joke. I'm, I did not mean to suggest that the lady deserved to get burned by the hot coffee. <laughs> when you have two people in a Discord call, one person has to take the dissenting side just to keep the conversation going. Okay. They're still going on about that. They didn't, have, they didn't like that. They were very upset with that. That's fair. Which is fair. I did. I mean, she had serious injuries. <laughs> she had to go to the hospital. <laughs> she had like a, that was just like unacceptable. All I'm saying is it's not the corporation's fault. It's that franchisee's fault. I'm dead, by the way. I fell off, literally. You must have no idea about it. Look, I know you're 17 and you've watched a lot of video essays. I was alive when this shit took place. I followed the whole arc from the snake's head to the snake's tail. There's a misinformation campaign by McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. Make it seem like she was the dumb lady trying to make money off, off suing them. There's been a lot of documentaries lately that are really going in on late night hosts. Check out all these fucked up jokes David Letterman made about Monica Lewinsky. And now they're trying to rehabilitate him on Netflix by getting him to interview Dave Chappelle. The dude, the dude can't, he can't stop stepping in quicksand, man. That was... What a sentence. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, you were aware of this in 1993? Uh, news traveled <laughs> slower back then, okay? It didn't happen in 93. It might have, for all I know. Oh, I probably heard about it when it made the news in 97. By the way, well, your, your comment, I meant to mention it, your comment about the lady who let her kid go crazy during um, How to Train Your Dragon. Mm -hmm. Didn't really realize it until it had a kid and started going to parks and stuff like that. There's a lot of like ass parents out there. Oh yeah. There's oh, like yeah. a here, here's so classic ass parent doesn't watch their kid at the park. Their kid gets into trouble with other kids and their parents. Okay, whatever that happens. Here's a new variant of shitty parent that I saw uh, this weekend. Uh, piece of playground equipment is unoccupied. I don't sit on benches. I'm a moron. I'm gonna sit on the piece of equipment. 
because no kid is using it right now. Okay, well, now I got to go over to some, like, 47-year-old man and say, excuse me, can you get off the spinning chair so my toddler can get on it? Like, what are you thinking? Like, they just <laughs> built a, a fancy chair for adults here? Like, what's wrong with you? That is just weird. I've seen older people sit on, like, swings and stuff, but usually when they're, like, alone and there's, like, you know, eight swings. Yeah, it's nighttime and you're, like, a little drunk and you're 20. Okay, like, yeah. whatever, go for it. Or you're like, you know, a, a young woman who's like reading a book at like a park. The common one too. Holy cow, this guy's insane. Did you see that? He did a big jump. But, nah, I mean, I want to have sympathy for like the parent who has a child that's just, you know, a lot. Yeah. But like, I don't know, like how did I, I don't know child science. Like if your child is a lot, you know, but like doesn't have any like behavioral issues, then like, like, is that your fault? <laughs> Is that the parents' mm, fault? I, gotta I, know. I think it could go either way. I think you, you could have a, uh, you could be like a low key parent and have like a bit of a crazy kid. Or I think you could have like a normal kid that doesn't get the attention that they need. And as a result, they start acting out to be a little crazier. I think, I think both can definitely happen. It's fair. So you just never know. But like if you're, Something. if you're, here's the thing, normal parents, crazy kid, you wouldn't see them because those parents would take the bullet. They'd be like, I got a low roll. I'm going to stay at home until they go to college. Yeah, I'm like rethinking this how to train your dragon situation now and I'm getting more upset at the parent because I'm like, okay, this this parent clearly knows their child is a lot. But also that child at no point watched the movie. Like, yeah. just what, like, did not care about the movie. It's very so, disrespectful like, to the filmmaker. I know you, random, you know, middle-aged lady, you're not here to see How to Train Your Dragon 3. I mean, you brought your kid, well, kids, actually. Her daughter was fine. Like, her daughter was chilling. Her daughter was more annoyed at the boy than I was. Um, way, of the, way of the world, for sure. Yeah, and uh, so I'm like, why? Like, I guess maybe you, I, you know what? I thought that's it. She brought it for her daughter and knew that the, the son was going to be a problem. Uh, yeah. She can't just leave the son at home. And the babysitter, like, that, you got the, you're going to pay full rate for a babysitter watching half your kids? I don't think so. Yeah, there's, like, a legitimately, like, a lot of bad parents out there. At the same, like, I do, I, I get annoyed sometimes because I think that especially young men don't cut parents a lot of slack. Like, things like, I mean, when I tweeted, like, oh, we have our kid at the library, she's having a great time. And then, like, people will tweet, like, oh, why do people always feel the need to bring their kids places? It's so annoying for me when I'm, like, at a place and there's kids around. I'm like, okay, shithead, I'm in the uh, kids section of the library, so don't come here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you need you need a re-up on your damn Goosebumps books, you know, you can stay in the section of the library where you can use a computer for free so you can access your Hotmail account, and I'll be over here reading kids' books, okay? <sighs> Dude, don't not Goosebumps, come on, man. <laughs> Yeah, it's really terrible. It was awful. But it was I, good. Yeah, I own about probably 90 Goosebumps books, if I had yeah, to guess. Yeah, I used to, but they got thrown away with the Pokemon cards. Tragic. Though that hurts. Mm hmm. Do you have a first edition Charizard in there? Maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> I was like six years old, man. How am I supposed to know? That's fair. That got put into a binder and then got put into a box, and that box got put into an attic, and then that attic got you know moved out of and now not a lot of stuff from that attic made it out that's kind of a goosebumps story in and of itself yeah the goosebumps book that didn't make it out of the attic <laughs> it's so long I gotta... we're, we're working title <laughs> but then sometimes i'm at the playground and i'm like you know what people are right there's a lot of like i i my problem is that people like blame the kids in my opinion when especially if your kid is like under five they just be like doing shit Sometimes you'll, I'll, I'll be with my daughter, like, 99% of the time, she's really polite. Sometimes she'll just go, ah! And then, like, people will look at me, and I'm like, I don't know, man. She's, <laughs> she's a little crazy, honestly. Like, right she's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I definitely get that with my niece and nephew. Like, I know my brother's a good dad, and it's just, like, they are a lot. They're just a lot. Like, just the energy levels are, like, it, it's honestly kind of, they're, they're kind of like dogs in a way where if, like, you know, you yeah. don't expend their energy, they're just going to use it up when you're Definitely trying to have dinner. True. Like, okay, so yesterday we were in the sandbox, and uh, I'm trying to let her play more independently so that I can fucking take a little break <laughs> from time to time. <laughs> and also, I'm sure it develops important skills for her. So I'm just standing at the edge of the sandbox. She's scooping sand into a bucket. She scoops the sand, no problem. Scoops the sand, no problem. Scoops the sand, immediately tries to put the shovel in her mouth. No no <laughs> tell in advance at all. Just like, scoop bucket, scoop bucket, scoop mouth. So I gotta slap the shovel like out of her hand. 
She's not even upset. She just grabs the shovel and then like goes back to putting it in the bucket. Like, it's just they give random impulses for behavior. That's that's what you're there for. Is so that if they're like, yeah. I'm gonna do something that is gonna like hurt me, then you're like, no, please don't. Please don't. And then they try to do yeah. it anyway, and then you gotta like, you know, pick them up in there wriggling around like crazy and you know yeah sometimes you got to start a scene just to make sure they're not sticking the fork in a light socket you know oh absolutely okay i i have to ask you an honest question you've seen squid game right i've seen squid game how stupid do you have to be to die in red light green light <laughs> uh yeah after playing the crab game the video game version of squid game i also do feel like it should be really hard to lose red light, green light after after you've realized. Like the first guy didn't know, yes. right? Like, but you, a, a one hundred and ten year old man made it across the finish line. Oh, you got it! You got it! You got it! I Let's got go! It. Don't, don't challenge me in any uh, hexagonal based game. Holy cow! You like farm and wins, dude? It actually it feels great. Although then when I play solo, I get my ass. I end up in these <laughs> nightmare like. Uh, like DoorDash lobbies, where if you don't start in the front two lines, you just lose. That is, yeah, no, DoorDash it's, is not. It's a good ruthless. One. God, dude, I can't. I, I'm trying to skip all these points I'm getting, man. Sorry. <laughs> I just, just keeps going, I was man, also bro. getting the points. You don't have to apologize. <laughs> I was mashing. <sighs> yeah, I just walked like 20. I, I, the weather was nice, too. I don't know if you could tell. I got a little bit of a tan. It's not a joke, by the way. There is a difference. It's just the lighting. The lighting, yeah, can you see? No, hey! Yeah. Hey! I tricked you. <laughs> Made you look at my bicep. Uh, are you still lifting? You still, you still uh, yoked? No, but I'm riding the Peloton oh. a lot. Legs are looking, I'm, I'm rocking the short shorts for sure. As long as you're getting the cardio. I would, if, if I was trying to show off my body, I would wear a cable knit sweater and tight underwear outside and really tall socks what's your favorite um you, you in any recent memes pink sauce tony pizza oh recent memes oh god I, I don't uh know. the I like... wife who hates her husband and all of her comics are like how she's an awesome the, the mom. mango or the peach? yeah yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> that one's so good <laughs> She has another yeah, one that's like um, me when I leave the house and it's like my car keys, my kid's juice, a spare water bottle, my kid's health card, an allergy list. And like it's a hundred thousand things. And then it's like my husband when he leaves the house, his car keys. And I'm like, man, this lady Why do you fucking hate hates husband her husband. So yeah. What a horrible relationship. You just gotta like, you gotta chill out a little bit. Honestly, also, it sounds like you're carrying too much shit. Like, yeah, that's a lot. I don't need this spare, like, water bottle when I go outside, because when I get thirsty, I go home. There was also one that said driving wine. Wait, that was, that was, I thought they did that to, uh, oh no, the husband, that was a, a meme husband one. Sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta be honest, I don't think she, she doesn't sound like kind of a uh, driving wine individual. Yeah, that was an edit. He seems like more of a night wine individual over yes. and over every night. Absolutely. I, I, I couldn't agree more, quite frankly. By the way, I made up for lost time. You see this? Oh, yeah. I'm right behind you. Guess what, bitch? Ooh! Oh, you're... I almost had him. Uh, uh, I love impacting other people's games for no reason. Oh, Just yanked that guy like two places back. It does feel good just to have an impact. Maybe that's why the world sucks so much. Everyone just wants to do something and they'll take whatever they can get. Hold on. Fruit pilled peach cell comic. It was going through my Discord for like a couple days. There were a lot of uh, a lot of edits. He's got to feel bad for the husband a little bit. Like he's getting put on blast. Definitely. Like not he not just in his peach. home life. Like, you got peaches. Just... Why is he not allowed to eat the peach? Right. He, well, they were, the the main tweet was like, "Hey, why don't you tell your fucking husband you're saving the peach?" Yeah. <laughs> why are you like setting up a booby trap for him? Or buy some chips or something so that I wouldn't eat the peach. I would eat the, yeah. the chips over the peach any day of the any day of the week. I mean, because that, that's what happened, right? Like uh, the, in uh, in real life, what happened is she saw the last peach and was like, uh, you know, I guess I'll give this to the kids. It's the last peach. But then she just didn't tell her husband. Yeah. And so he was like, oh, it's the last peach. I'm gonna eat it, and which is a totally reasonable thing to do because you can fucking buy more peaches. That's she not pisses hard me to off because you know maybe they bought eight peaches. And she ate seven, but she didn't eat the right. last one. And now yeah. all of a sudden, he's the bad guy. 
Yep, yep. Well, let's be honest, he probably ate most of them. Let's be real. He's, he's a little peach bastard. Well, he's fruit he's a fruit pill peach self. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's a little peach demon, yum yum. She drives me crazy, man. Maybe you gotta hide the peaches from him if he's gonna steal all the peaches, you know? Is common courtesy to ask before eating the last of anything? No, not not really. No. You never get no. anything done. I also, eat the it's a peach. It's yeah. not like a piece of cake, you know? Like she it's so easy it. to get more peaches. That's crazy. Like, that's that, what you have just described. I don't think it lives in the real world. I think that's like a, a perfect world situation. I don't think you're you're speaking about real human beings here. Because, like, what are you going to say? No? Try that in the other direction. Your wife says, can I have the last cookie? You go, you go no. Okay, now you're an asshole. You're an asshole either way. You can't win, man. I'm just saying, if the script was flipped, if you reverse the roles... People say that that's like a red flag when someone says if you reverse the roles. But there's some times you reverse the roles. It should be looking a little fucked up. <laughs> a little sussy. <laughs> Look, it's just, it's fine if you want to be a little upset that you had plans for a peach and those plans were, were not seen through. Just, dude, we're in the age of fucking Instacart. Like, order some more peaches. Yeah. Well, here, this is a similar situation and also kind of a role reversal. My wife was reading a manga about a good husband. And then she said, man, the only thing that would make you a better husband is if you looked like G-Dragon, who is a <laughs> member of a K-pop group. I don't even remember. I think he was, I don't, I don't even know what group he was part of, okay? And then I said, things a, a wife can say to her husband, but a husband can't say to her wi his wife. Because can you imagine if you were like, man, you're such a great wife. The only thing that would be better is if you look like fucking Nicole Scherzinger from the Pussycat Dolls, right? Like it would just, you would be, you would be the asshole for sure. And then she said, that's true. I wonder why it is. And you know what I realized is that is because there was like thousands of years of men being like horrible spouses. So now, like, you can't say horrible things because <laughs> people will think you're a horrible person but you can kind of have mean things said to you because your great great grandfather was a dickhead or something i'm not that guy i'm a i'm a nice guy i don't deserve that but because like oh for 500 years like women have been treated bad in marriage that means i can make a joke about your personal appearance and how if you were a 135 pound k-pop star you'd be more handsome you know what i mean i'm not my great grandpa i don't know what he did uh Hold yeah on. well he ate the last peach he, he would eat the last peach probably he would eat the last peach yeah hey you're the i'm last not one. flaming i'm just saying all right well also sorry i'm not g-dragon sorry i didn't get caught smoking weed in a Tokyo bathroom stall. What the hell? You can't do that in Korea or and Tokyo? Or? Yeah, well, you I, you can't do it in Tokyo, but you definitely can't do it when you are Korean. Because the attitude towards weed in Korea is that is basically as bad as, uh, like, fentanyl. <laughs> it's very funny. Yeah, no, I... The whole weed thing, like, I feel like I can't find a single person on the planet anymore who thinks weed is bad. Even the most conservative, you know, red state folks I talk to are like, weed? Hell yeah. I don't know. I mean, weed's great. Dude, I was talking about it with my mom. And she was like, have you ever smoked weed? This is like after it became legal. And I say, yeah, I've smoked weed. And I smoked it before it was legal. And she, she's not like a prude about it. But she was a little bit taken aback. And I had to explain to her, it's literally nothing. <laughs> it's like... <Yeah. laughs> It's actually, like, not anything at all. I, I don't it even is. know how to make it sound to, like, sound... Like, because I, I get that it, for some people who have never tried it, it has the connotation of a drug. But it's literally like having, like, two glasses of wine or something. Yeah, or you could basically. smoke yourself stupid, obviously, but you could... <laughs> I have had some incredibly strong gummies in the, in the last year, so... You, you can make it a drug, but... Like, no, it's it's the most mild thing. No, I feel like, so, um, I, I haven't actually done it that much. I did it a little bit in college. I threw. And I think that that was like, I have the same experience that all people who are old have, where now, whenever I hear someone talk about, oh, I'm dead too. I was the last person eliminated. That hurts. Whenever I hear, like, I, sometimes I'll see people on, 
um, like Twitter that are YouTubers and they'll be like, here's my plan for tonight. And it's like a sour key and the bag says it has like half a gram of THC in it. And I'm like, I don't think in my entire life I've consumed half a gram of THC. And you're gonna like eat one of them and then watch Parks and Rec for like three hours? Like, I, I, I would be dead. They, they weren't making that shit when I was 20 years old. They were like, here's like grass. And then <laughs> like, that's it. Nowadays they're like, oh yeah, we like refined it down to like the strongest uh, possible Molecular concentration level. of it. Yeah. <laughs> And then we put it on a Sour Patch Kid. And, like, th th then you look at the bag and it's like, oh, the average dose is one-eighth of a Sour Patch Kid. They're selling cookies where they're like, oh, the serving size is a sixteenth. How are you supposed to eat one-sixteenth of a cookie? <laughs> I, I, I'm with you, but, like, man, even the strongest stuff I've had, like, the worst thing that happens is, like, you, you just, like, you know, like, we couldn't stop laughing. That was it. It like yeah, it's like thing. it's it's like, fine. Like, I, and I, everybody makes this case, but it's like so self-evident. There's no counter argument. There's there's two futures that have no cognitive dissonance. If alcohol is legal, weed should be legal, or they should both be illegal. There's the only because alcohol is worse in every single way, except that it fucking tastes awesome sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even taste good, man. I'm not even gonna give you that one, dude. But it, like, like alcohol is just. It's worse in every yeah. way. Because it actually impairs you significantly. Worse on your body, makes you more likely to make bad decisions, be reckless. Obviously, drinking and driving is a huge problem. Also, it's everywhere. There are bars that only have parking lots. How does that shit make any legal sense? In the, you're not allowed to drink and drive. The only way you can get to this bar is by taking your car here. Riddle me this. Legit, that's, like, that's not a catch-22. That's like a catch-1. <laughs> It is legitimately so much more annoying to be with a very drunk person than a very high person, too. Yes, absolutely. Like on every level. Like, with your very drunk person, they're, like, belligerent. They can be, like, violent. They can be, uh, uh, like, upset. A really high person might just, like, fall asleep. <laughs> like, and when you're high, other high people are hilarious. Because you're, like, oh, yeah. you're, like, holy shit, you're so high. But you don't realize that also you're so high. So you're like, man, this guy is stupid. And then you start to laugh at them, and then they start to laugh at you, and you're like, this guy is so stupid, he doesn't even know I'm laughing at him. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly what happened to when we were in California. One guy, uh, who was uh, other Ellen Murkoji, uh, just uh, had a boba cup. They had a cup of boba. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they very, very highly just uh, took the straw from the bottom of the cup, like to the top, so it went <laughs> and the, the person next to him just a literal actual slow motion just turned to him just like it took him like five seconds to do like a quarter head turn and then they looked at each other and just fucking <laughs> and uh, then we proceeded to laugh oh, the next 30 man. minutes over that that's great it's uh, so much better than alcohol dude yeah, when I'm drunk, I don't like to be around other drunk people. I'm like, shut up, dummy, it's my turn to talk. <laughs> like, you're just, I got some shit to say. I ate uh, an edible once. I don't know, this is probably like five years ago now. Ate an edible. People I was with said, okay, let's play a new board game. It's called Motai Nai. Crack open the board game, turn one. I'm like, I got this shit on lock. Turn two, I'm like, what the hell is going on, man? <laughs> There's like... Cherry blossom cards. You can't use cherry blossoms because you're in the peach season now. Uh, if you're in the there are cherry blossoms, you can discard them and get three uh, Shinto tiles that you could. And I'm just, I just like sat back on the couch and was like, I'm, I'm out of here. I just watched, and it was the most entertaining thing. I watched them try to figure this board game out for like two hours. I was more relaxed <laughs> than I've ever been in my entire life. I had CBD oil one time, and I'll tell you, I feel like I could have done my taxes afterwards. It had maybe, um, but it's probably because I'm built different. I think I might have a, a gene that doesn't allow CBD to affect me. That's fair. We'll see. I, the other thing, I don't think THC is the illegal part. But I was trying to explain it to my mom. I was like, it's literally, it's so nothing. And then I yeah. also realized, especially after it's legal here, um, which it has been for like seven years with like no negative consequences whatsoever on the societal level because like what negative consequences could there be um i'm 
I'm just surrounded by high people at all times. Like, serving staff, uh, customer service workers, people walking their dogs. Take the hammer. Take the hammer. No, no. Wait, are we going to make already, it? I'm, look, I'm the only one that scored points. Watch Do this it. shit. No! Oh! Feels good, doesn't it? You have confidence. Mm. I took that shit in first place, man. That was really? Yeah. Holy cow! I would never do that on a solo show. I wanted to give people a moment for being here for the whole, uh, the whole uh, saga with food poisoning. By the way, I forgot I did add an anecdote. I got my biopsy back, uh, my biopsy results back for my colonoscopy. It said, given the patient's recent history with intestinal enteritis this tissue likely resents uh, represents resolving infection however we cannot rule out intravenous drug use <laughs> what are you doing man i and this is what i've been saying i and i've been building this bit up unfortunately for like three weeks is that every piece of evidence points to infection but every different doctor that touches the file is like well Everything says infection, okay? He got diagnosed with the specific bacteria. We ran a full genome sequence on them. He was cured by the antibiotics. The colonoscopy didn't really bring up anything, but every doctor is like, nah, man, it's not an infection, it's Crohn's. And then they do the colonoscopy. And then the gastroenterologist is like, well, it's not Crohn's, but are you like, you take heroin? And I'm like, no. I'm, they're, <laughs> well, they're like, I mean, it's probably an infection. I, I know. This shit just drives me crazy. Is that like they keep getting in each other's way? Like they, you, you already ran the genome sequence on the bacteria, and then they just, yeah. they, you know what it is? They're negging me. They want me to come back for another colonoscopy. <laughs> well, no, they want you to admit it. Yeah, like, you shoot heroin up your ass, don't you? I'll be like, fine, I do heroin. No, I think that's not a wound from the needle. I think it's like if you Aww. take it a lot, then oh, what's the fucking point? It man? has, it has impacts on your health in ways you probably wouldn't have expected. I'm gonna have to go in and give like a piss test. Oh, uh, oh, oh, close, close, close. I didn't think you would run away. I'm gonna go in for a piss test to prove that I don't take heroin. And they're gonna be like, oh, but his piss is a little foamy. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's like ulcerative <laughs> colitis. They're gonna have to do like a fucking uh, sigmoidoscopy or something like that. And they're gonna be like, oh, it's not, it's not ulcerative colitis, but look, we found a jelly bean up here. Like it's, it, it never ends, man. First, I, they wouldn't see me, and now they can't get enough of me. Well, yeah, they know that you have potential. <laughs> Whatever that means. Yeah. This guy's a damn Petri dish. They refuse to... They don't believe the lab results, man. Now, you know what the real thing is? Is that you did do heroin, but you got the infection from the heroin needle. Ah! That's how you get them. I was. I know I'm gonna get a call from my my family doctor because when she told me that I had the infection in the first place, she was like, "We usually don't see infectious disease like this bad, except in like people who live on the street." And now she's gonna get a report from the lab tech that says like it it's probably from the infection, but it could be from intravenous drug use. So I'm gonna have to get a call from my damn doctor that's like, "Do you do heroin?" And I'm gonna have to be like. No. Have I ever I missed mean, like an 8:15 a.m. appointment with you? No, I don't do heroin. Like, what do you think did it? Like, where? What was the meal? I have no idea. I I couldn't say with any confidence. But I was laughing a little bit on the Disney cruise when they're like, "You have to. We have to wash you, wash your hands for 30 seconds before you can come into the buffet." And I'm like, "Well, first off, everybody on the cruise had to test negative just to get on the cruise to begin with. But like, secondarily." People in there are like sticking their finger in their asshole and then like touching the food with it. So I don't think it's gonna save us. If Sorry, you could, I, if, I, if you... I don't, I zoned out, man. This fucking long bean has done the same thing like 30 <laughs> times in a row. I like, I'm actually having a panic attack. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. No, no, it's okay. But yeah, no, uh, COVID. Yeah. Sucks. Yeah. We're, we're, we're on monkeypox now, though. We've upgraded. Yeah. I mean, I'm. I feel pretty safe from the monkey pox, I think. Why? Because you're straight? Listen. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you mead me. You, you you gave me a suicide pass. I can't answer that <laughs> question. No Sorry, matter man, which way you it. answer it, you're, you're hemmed into a corner. <laughs> Sorry, that was just a setup and the knockdown was all there. I did see the... the and I... 
I don't know. I don't consider myself like a, a, a centrist at all. I used to like think the New York Times was kind of like an objective source of news to some extent. But I've been seeing a lot of stuff lately. This, this one threw me for a loop. Uh, it was like how to avoid monkeypox. And then high risk activities was like being around other people, touching things other people have touched. Uh, like going to a party, going to a rave, etc., etc. And then like the low risk stuff was like the same shit, but related to economic activity. It was like being on the subway, no, is like low risk. Be like being on a crowded bus, no risk. Going to the office is is no risk. And I'm like, there's like the the virus or the bacteria knows. It's like, oh, don't get him. He's at work. Yeah. He's he's oh he's he's, par busy. he's partying. Pump it. He's he's uh, participating in economic activity. Dump it. Didn't make any. S I mean, it just didn't pass the smell test for me. But I don't know. I'm also not doing the research, so I have no I don't know. Like we're just waiting for the actual like bad disease that shows up, and we've shown now twice that we're just not going to be able to deal with it at all. Yeah, dude. I mean, like it, it, people are literally they're just like sick of it. They're like whatever. Like I feel like if if like. COVID 2.0 came out and was insanely lethal, people would be like, I already did my time. I'm going to... Yeah, <laughs> it's scary, dude. I'm, go I'm going to the Knicks game. I already took a season off. I'm not doing it again. Because people, there's so many people there who are like, oh, monkey pox, this ass, um, I'm like fine from it. It's like, yeah, you're probably fine from it, but like, we've yet again shown that we can't contain even a disease that we have a vaccine for and we, you know, knew was coming and we had the time. And oh, uh, that we have tests for already, too. So, like, what happens when, yeah, Corona 2 comes up and it's like a disease we don't have a test for is really deadly and spreads super fast? What the hell are we going to do? Yeah, I'm going Fucking... right back to March 2020 I'm, when, yeah. I, when I went to the grocery store and bought, like, 20 cans of Spam and a 10-pound <laughs> bag of potatoes. Dude, I, I stocked up on ramen and, like, frozen stuff. Dude, I was ready, dude. I was ready to stay indoors. And then I did. It, knock on wood, by the way. Still haven't had it. Although... I ran at first it was like haven't had covid you're lucky and then like six months later it was like haven't had covid here's the secret of people who have never had covid and it's like surprise it's like never been outside and now the articles are like haven't had covid guess what you fucking liar you have and i'm like <laughs> fuck you you don't know that <laughs> uh. Shit's driving me crazy. People are like, oh, I, I've got a little, like, a sore throat. They're like, test for COVID. I get a COVID test, it's negative. They're like, D you can't the trust the test. Negative, yeah, yeah, I'm like, well, what am I supposed to do there, man? Nah, you know when you have COVID, uh, at least when it's, you know, the uh, symptoms arise. As long as I'm still putting out 330 plus on the Peloton, I don't, I mean, I, and testing negative, to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't use that as the only diagnostic method, but I'm not doing it. Oh, there's not that many people. We're going to be fine. Surprise. There's only, there's only three spots left, though. There's two quick ones. Great play. Look at that. I know we're cannibalizing each other's space. It's just the best route for me right now. I'm doing what I can. You're going to miss that. I oh, didn't miss it. He's just better. This would be huge, man. Oh! Right. Thou, you don't no. know! You don't know what I had to go through to get Ring 11. You Bro. don't know. It was the, per the... The ring was like exactly parallel with me, so I couldn't even see the opening. I landed right on the, on the edge of the hula hoop and managed to tweak it in. You did some geometry, man. I respect that. That was a solid hoopsie for me. And now I we're in the finals, gone, man. We, we was too much thin ice, man. Holy cow. Holy dude, I can't believe cow. I kind of want to play a Fall Mountain. I haven't played Fall Mountain since I, know, I came dude. back to the game. I know. I take it as a personal attack. They suggested I use intravenous drugs. They took a sample of flesh from my colon and said, can't here, they, what they said is can't rule out drugs. It is like a wording that's annoying because... It does feel a bit antagonistic. Couldn't you take a, a biopsy that was just normal tissue and write the same shit? It's like a meaningless statement. Healthy, yeah. healthy colon, no problems, but maybe they take fentanyl. They, yeah, they could just do it in there. Like, oh, you're, you're having some trouble. You're gaining some weight. Oh, can't rule out heroin. Losing weight can't rule out uh, heroin.
So I took it as a personal attack, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm getting the, the damn, I'm getting exact wording again, okay? It takes a second, because it's a government service. <laughs> <laughs> you think they're like out there over there just being like, oh, dude, he's probably so mad about the intravenous drug thing, dude. That was a good decision, you know? Like, You, you just wait until I get my next colonoscopy. That thing is going to be damn spotless. <laughs> well, they still won't be able to rule it out. They're, they're going to regret saying that shithead. We now, what you should do is just like take heroin <laughs> right before the colonoscopy, see if they find it. <laughs> I think I'd probably die um, the, the <laughs> anesthesia. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my guess, though. Uh, you're probably right. Okay, okay, okay. Um, acute inflammation. Yes. No granulomas are seen in this sample. That's probably a good thing, I'd have to imagine. What is a granulomoma, dude? Given the recent history of infectious enteritis, this likely... In fact, it doesn't even say likely. It says most likely represents res tissue from resolving infection. However, cannot rule out drugs, comma, etc. What the hell is the etc. do? I don't want my doctor using etc. Hey, you want that shit on lock. At least some specificity Dude. would be nice. I I'm getting even more mad at the the results from the colonoscopy because I just <laughs> saw that it says please correlate with other laboratory findings. My brother in Christ, they shoved a camera up my ass with a pair of scissors on it and took some flesh and sent it to you. What do you mean correlate with you are the other lab results? They already took the blood, the stool, the urine. They genome sequenced the bacteria. What do you mean correlate with what what more can you do, man? Do you think it's just like a long line of like they were they're trying to cover for the fact that they were wrong originally and they, they really didn't want to diagnose you with the infection so like well and i still couldn't have known. and maybe it wasn't though it's hard like, not to think it's a conspiracy at this point banana apple watermelon orange cherry banana apple watermelon orange cherry we're gonna qualify anyway there we are actually i'm cracked at this i think i'm on it no this is apple oh no the doubt <laughs> Banana, <laughs> watermelon, apple, orange. Well, whatever. Round over. Qualified. Qualified. The second you said, I think it's this one. <laughs> it was neither of them. <laughs> oh man. Oh. You don't need to be good to qualify. I how many people qualified the whole time? I didn't realize we were playing against the Bene Gesserit. You gotta remember, man. I'm a low vocab individual. That's from Dune. Oh, the Bene Gesserit? Yeah, the Bene Gesserit. Oh, okay, you said it wrong, okay. Oh, whatever. I've only read the book. It's a good movie. Uh, I'm just kidding, I've only seen the movie. The book is really yeah. long. Yeah, it's also old. LOL. Bro, I don't know which one the soft G is. Which one's the soft G? That's gotta be guh, right? <laughs> I don't know, that's what I'm saying. And then J is the hard G. I almost died right at the start. Like, I'm gonna jerk off. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> this is a good one, man. Hey, can I surprise you? Yeah. I've never won a blast ball final. I've won one. Only one. But I've also only played like three times. It's just like, I don't know if you feel the same way, but sometimes you get hit by a blast ball and you get sent to the goddamn moon. Yeah. And another you get hit by a blast ball and you go and you fall over. And it's that's definitely like. Definitely true. It's just. I'm in outer space, but I lived. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I'm getting hit by every blast ball, but I'm not going anywhere. From downtown. What's the damn point, man. Come here. I think I have the secret tech. Don't okay. throw it. Just run into people with it. I, I have been killed by that a few times, for sure. Because I don't think if you're holding it, you get thrown that far. I killed someone! Bog! Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh my I'm god! I'm alright, I'm alright, I'm alright. Oh! <laughs> Later. I was focusing so much on the blast balls, I wasn't looking at the platform! 
I love that. That was huge. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> I stopped myself. I was like, oh, dude, this is gonna be so sick. I'm gonna get him. Imagine, though. Oh. Uh -oh. He's gotta be upset because I killed him and myself and let the other guy win. <laughs> good games, though. Good games. Good ga yeah, we got lots of wins. Had some good games there. What the hell is this email from Zoom? Want to learn <laughs> practical methods to persuade people? What Zoom? Were you getting into the damn hypnosis business? Oh shit! What the hell? The Maybe. Zoom. Someone's gotta. Join Dr. Carmen Simon as she talks about the neuroscience of persuasive presentations. That sounds fucked up, man. I'm not going to that. Are you crazy? She could make me do anything. Dude, uh, no thanks. Oh, well, good. Persuade yourself to end the stream. I know. I'm going to persuade myself to end the stream. Good games. Good games. Good games. GG. What are you doing for the rest of your uh, evening? I got a last second Amogus invite. I got that. Couple Ooh. hours. Okay. Have fun. Yeah, yeah. You should bring up the McDonald's thing with them and see if they if they're aware. I'll bring it up. Let's go. All right. You have a great day. Later. Okay. I gotta go pee, but let me see if my wife is ready to go live. She's already live. Holy cow! Is that easy? Good stream today. What are we gonna do tomorrow? I would say it's a safe bet. We'll probably return to Cult of the Lamb for a little bit. And I don't know, new SAP Weekly. Haven't really tried it so far. There's no chocolate in it. I sleep, but I wake when I play it tomorrow. See ya. Heart and soul. It's got a lot of heart and soul. I don't know the rest of the words, but it's got a pretty good bass line, pretty good bass line, heart and soul. My wife is streaming Maj on Monday's Pog. I'll send you right over to her stream. Hope you have a great rest of your Monday night. I'll see you tomorrow for Dome Keeper. Boop, burp, burp.